Well, thank you. We'll see you later for the full forecast. Now a story we've been tracking since the beginning of the year. A Colorado man with a history of threatening violence against women comes to Utah, promising on his Facebook page to, quote, kill as many girls as I see, end quote. And yet, he only gets probation. Well, tonight, the update. ABC4 News interviews the prosecutor who points out a flaw in the law he says needs to be fixed. Shades of Orlando, Florida, 49 people shot and killed at the Pulse nightclub. Parkland, Florida, 17 people shot and killed. Isla Vista, California, six people killed. And last January, police in Provo thought they might have the makings of another mass shooting on their hands. 27-year-old Christopher Wayne Cleary had driven from Denver just in time for the Women's March. You just can't determine anymore when it's going to change and when it's going to go kind of postal. Prosecutor Douglas Finch tells ABC4 News tonight, Cleary had written on his Facebook page, I've never had a girlfriend before and I'm still a virgin, he wrote. This is why I'm planning on shooting up a public place soon and being the next mass shooter. Cleary went on to write he was going to kill as many girls as he saw. He was arrested and charged with terrorism. But then last week, a plea deal to a lesser charge and probation. Tonight, ABC4 News asked why. The biggest factor is what our reasonable likelihood of actually convicting at trial would be. Finch pointed out a gap in Utah law. And that gap is a second degree felony for terrorism. And then a terroristic threat is only down to a class B misdemeanor. Cleary's crime was somewhere between. The prosecutor's solution, get a guilty plea and send him back to Colorado, where he was already on probation for similar crimes and where a probation violation would likely send him to prison there. Mission accomplished, he goes away. That's it, and the community here definitely is going to be protected. Cleary's scheduled for sentencing tomorrow in 4th District Court in Provo. From there, he'll be transported back to Denver. There, he'll answer probation violation charges on his previous crimes, where he's expected to serve up to 15 years in prison. We'll keep you posted on this story.